each time the Fed paused, gold went up. And gold went up not because the Fed paused, because the market anticipated lower rates after that phase of pause. So each time, that was in 2000, in 2007, in 2019, each time the Fed paused, gold went up by 50%, 50. We do strongly, more than strongly, we know that the next phase will be uh, to cut rates. And yeah. lower rates will definitely help the price of gold go much higher. The reality is that gold can go much higher, and 3000 is really not, not far-fetched, far, far from being far-fetched. So if you ask me today, can gold hit 3000 The answer is yes, absolutely. Gold is currently trading around $2,300, potentially dropping to $2,200. Despite short-term fluctuations, the average price in Q2 2024 is over $200 higher than in Q1, indicating a steady rise. On Wednesday, Gold prices fell to their lowest in nearly two weeks as the dollar firmed, while investors awaited a report on the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge for clues on potential rate cuts. According to Alan Corbani, head of mining and fund manager at Monblue Finance, gold prices are rising due to high demand from central banks and retail investors, particularly strong purchases by Americans and Chinese investors. This diverse demand is driving up prices. Global gold demand remains robust, supporting record high prices. The World Gold Council's Q1 2024 Gold Demand Trends Report reveals that total global gold demand was up 3% year-on-year to 1,238 tons, marking the strongest first quarter since 2016. A recent World Gold Council survey showed that most of the 70 central banks surveyed preferred to increase gold purchases and reduce dollar holdings over the next five years. However, only 29% expect to increase gold reserves within the next 12 months. Initially, Expectations were for an aggressive rate cut of around 200 basis points. Still, the median forecast from the Federal Open Market Committee in June anticipates only one rate cut in 2024. Forecasters believe the earliest the Fed might cut interest rates is in September, contingent on continued evidence of a softening economy. According to the CME Group's FedWatch tool, traders have increased their expectations of a rate cut. Fed officials have indicated that while they are encouraged by the recent cooling and in inflation data, including the consumer price index, they need to see sustained progress over several months before lowering rates. Join us as we delve into Alain Corbani's insights. To stay updated with our latest uploads, subscribe to our channel and activate notifications. Thank you. A lack of visibility that has been really been in motion for the last two years. And uh, bear with me a second. In, two, in the last two years, gold has, has gone up by 25%. And this is despite the fact that uh, the the speculation on the direction of rates that you just mentioned earlier in your intro went on a roller coaster from uh, uh, being very aggressive, anticipating really like almost 200 uh, basis points in rate cuts to only one now because the median. Now, if you look at the median forecast of uh, the FOMC of, of June, uh, well, it was uh, basically expecting one rate cut in 2024. And that was coming from, as I said earlier, almost 200 beeps. So there is a lack of visibility. And, and the forecast for 2025 is a cut of 100 basis points. So uh, this is not significant enough to give and help gold go higher in the very short term. So we are evolving in that 2300 range. Can we go to 2200? Of course we can. But keep in mind that the average price of the second quarter for gold 2024 versus the first quarter of 2024 is there's a price difference of more than $200. This is huge. So maybe gold is disappointing you in the very short term, but the reality is that it keeps it keeps going up. There are a lot of things. If you look at the, the, the components of demand of physical gold, you realize that a lot of people, you read a lot about central banks buying gold, and this is the main reason behind this surge in the price of gold. The reality is that it's not only central banks. So uh, retail is buying gold, uh, coins. Uh, uh, American retail is buying silver. Uh, the Chinese retail is buying a lot of gold. 
so it, it's really a basket of different players who participated in the rise of the price of gold by increasing demand. Uh, now, the institutions haven't participated yet. I, I should be more precise by saying that the Western investors, institutional investors, haven't really uh, jumped into the wagon yet. And a lot of people who are bull on the price of gold are waiting for these players to, to get involved to move the price of gold higher. I don't think we need them for the price of gold to go higher, but that will definitely be a supplemental uh, 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 demand component that, that would help uh, uh, an increase in the price of gold. On Wednesday, gold prices dropped by 1%, hitting their lowest point in over two weeks. Meanwhile, traders eagerly anticipated the upcoming U.S. inflation data to be released later in the week. According to Alain Corbani, if the Federal Reserve pauses and subsequently decreases rates, gold could increase by 50%, reaching around $3,000. This projection is based on historical trends and the anticipated impact of future rate cuts. Bank of America's latest analysis also suggests that gold prices could skyrocket to $3,000 per ounce within 12 to 18 months. Historically, each time the Federal Reserve has paused its rate hikes, gold prices have risen driven by market anticipation of future lower rates. This pattern was observed in 2000, 2007, and 2019, where gold increased by around 50% each time the Fed paused. Gold has historically performed well following Fed pauses, with significant rallies observed, 143% in 2000, 196% in 2006, and 54% in 2018. Since the start of the current Fed pause in July 2023, Gold is up 3%, indicating substantial upside potential relative to historical performance. Let's get back to the interview. If just you look at the percentages of gold reserves uh, uh, in the, in, within the central banks, Western central banks, so we, we are still the, the biggest player uh, percentage-wise. But yeah. my point here is to say that nobody on, in the Western uh, world has already gotten involved in gold because they are all expecting, they want to see the first cut in rates. And this is what is preventing a lot of investors to get involved in the sector. They have been disappointed so many times. And as we said earlier, we had a roller coaster in anticipations, disappointments, a lot of expectations. And then uh, we came back to a neutral level today with uh, one rate cut, maybe two rate cuts. The reality is that let's stop speculating. And those investors who are not involved, institutional investors who are not touching gold yet, will be involved once the Fed cuts its rates. And most probably this will happen this year. And each time the Fed, that's history, and each time the Fed paused, each time the Fed paused, gold went up. And gold went up not because the Fed paused, because the market anticipated lower rates after that phase of pause. So each time, that was in 2000, in 2007, in 2019, each time the Fed paused, gold went up by 50%, 5 0. So let's make things simple. In order for gold to perform well, the Fed needs to pause. We are really in that environment. And for the last two, two years, gold has done extremely well. And gold will continue doing well because we do strongly, more than strongly, we know that the next phase will be uh, to cut rates. And yeah. lower rates will definitely help the price of gold go much higher. When, when uh, I sat down uh, with your uh, uh, colleague, um, I, uh, several months ago, I think we were gold was around 2000, and and the the question was where do you see gold? I said maybe 2500. So and when I said 2500, I strongly believed that we would get there, but I didn't want to be too aggressive, uh, a gold box speculating uh, without reasoning. The reality is that gold can go much higher, and 3000 is really not not far fetched. So if you ask me today, can gold hit 3,000? The answer is yes, absolutely. Because again, just look at the statistics I gave you earlier. 
each time the Fed pause, then we reverse into lower rates, gold goes up by 50%. So just run the numbers, 2,000, 50% of 2,000, you get your 3,000. That's more or less a bulk figure, but uh, you won't, the investors won't blame me for being $100 short or, or, or long uh, that target. Considering gold's historical performance in response to Fed pauses and the potential for substantial price rallies, do you think now is a strategic time for investors to increase their gold holdings in anticipation of future rate cuts? Or should they adopt a more cautious approach given the current economic uncertainties? Share your perspective in the comment section. If the video resonates with you, join our community by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications with the bell icon. Thank you for being a part of our community.